Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we want to look at Proverbs chapter 1 verse 1 through 17. Let's see what the wise man Solomon has to say to us today, giving us instruction from the word of God. Uh, Proverbs chapter 1 verse 1 through 7. It says, These are the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, the king of Israel. They will help you to learn to be wise, to accept correction, and to understand wise sayings. They will teach you to develop your mind in the right way. You will learn to do what is right and to be honest and fair. These proverbs will make even those without education smart. They will teach young people that they need to know and how to use what they have learned. Even the wise could become wiser by listening to these proverbs. They will gain understanding and learn to solve difficult problems. These sayings will help you understand proverbs, stories, and hidden meaning words of the wise and other difficult sayings. Knowledge begins with fear and respect for the Lord, but stubborn fools eat wisdom and refuse to learn. Today our topic is wisdom or folly. It is a choice that we must make to get and learn and apply the word of God or to remain as fools. Here the wise man is saying it is a choice. It is all up to us what we do with the truth of the word of God. So today Solomon the son of David, the Bible say he was the wisest, he was the richest, and he was the most honored of the kings of Israel. Word of God say he spoke 3,000 proverbs and these proverbs provided practical wisdom for living and for the management of our lives. The key word in these verses is the word wisdom. So what is wisdom? The know-how for us to live skillful living. His words also instruction. What is instruction? A moral discipline for discernment. He has the word understanding, the ability to know God, the ability to know good from evil, the ability to judge between what is profitable and what is worthless, between helpful and harmful stuff, between that which is right and that which is wrong. As a the writer says it is a choice whether we apply it or not. So God himself wants us to have wisdom. That's why he provides it. The moral discipline to discern good from evil or right from wrong. So here we have been schooled in what is wise, what is righteous, what is proper and that which is honorable. James 1 and verse 5 says, if any man, if any one of us lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it all men liberally and upbraid it not. What is James saying? Ask for wisdom of God if you want it and he will let you have it. It will be given unto you. Then when we look at verse 3 in our text, we come to find the word justice and judgment and equity. 
we receive instruction in knowing how to live. And when we do, we will gain three things the word of God says. He says we should gain an integrity of honesty. We would gain the truth from the word of God. And we would learn to be impartial in making our decisions so that they are based on truth and not on our emotions at any given moment. When we look at verse 4 in our text, it talks about the simple or the unwise. Those without education, the Bible says, will become smart. They that have the knowledge, which is the power to know the truth, those that have discernment, those who know how to act in a proper way. So the unwise person or the youth needs to learn that it is uh, the power of God that gives a person the truth. Then he know how he should act in a proper way in his life. To gain this wisdom or to gain this know-how, the unwise person must be the Determined to learn. Such person must be teachable, willing to listen, and not an insufferable know-it-all. Not just being the talker and not a listener. The one who is wise in this regard will grow even wiser and learn to guide or to give advice to others also. We see in verse 5, it talks about a wise person who will hear and it will increase in learning. Such person will be a person of understanding and such person will attain to wise counsel. As First Peter 2 and verse 2 says, like newborn babies hungry for milk, we should want to have the pure teaching that feeds our spirit and that we can grow up and be saved. So the wise believer will listen intently to the word of God. The word of God is the heart of God and it is true. So the wise believer will increase his knowledge of the facts. A person that has the ability to discern good from evil, seek wise advice from others and will be able to tell which is good and that which is not good. Because even in society today, we have people who will give bad or wrong advice. I remember one day, I have a friend. And based on her circumstances, everybody was telling her, do evil for evil, do tit for tat. She says, everybody I talk to says, this is the case. This is what should have happened. And I use one simple sentence. My dear for you, take the I road. Don't stoop to that which is evil. And she did. And it worked out in her favor. What are we trying to say? That which is good will always prevail over that which is evil. And every really great person today in the world has put this verse into practice. Let it be our prayerful desire also to seek wisdom that comes from God, to be a learner, to take good advice, and to give good advice. In verse 6, the wise man is saying, Proverbs are deep hidden messages of God. They are like diamonds 
we have to mime for them and when we do find them we have to process them when we dig them up so that they will no longer be diamonds in the rough but they will be polished we will see the luster we will see the beauty we will be able as it were when we dig for the truths of the word of god to take many of the challenges that face us and we will receive from the word of god wealth the wealth of his truth that will come to us in verse 7 which is the key verse it says the fear of the lord is the beginning or the chief part of knowledge if a man wants to be wise the place to begin is to reverence god the place to begin is to ask him to forgive us of our sins and to put our complete trust and confidence wholeheartedly in him as lord and savior fools despise wisdom and instruction the wise is the one who is anxious to learn a fool is one who cannot be told anything is intractable and conceited and only learn lessons the hard way if at all they ever learn but let us today choose to be wise let us choose wisdom over folly the choice has been given to us by the wise man Solomon. Are we going to be teachable? Are we going to be the ones that seek the wisdom of God? Or are we going to continue in our own way as if we know it all? Then our end will not be as nice as if we would have chosen wisdom. God bless you today. Thank you again for watching and may God bless the USA.